acting governor of Ondo State, Lucky Eyet Datiwa, has reportedly been asking questions about his principal's earnings and expenses attached to his office. Our thoughts also report that Governor Rotimi Akredolo, who left the country for medical treatment abroad and transmitted power to his deputy, is scheduled to return on July 6. In a chat with Vanguard government officials, lawyer to Akredolo said a year that Tiwa has been asking about the governor's spending and demanded to know how funds allocated to the governor's office are disbursed. A source who spoke on the condition of anonymity said the acting governor has summoned and threatened two officials of the Ministry of Finance about the revenue and expenditure of the state. The official also accused the acting governor of undermining the authority of the governor's office through his actions and decisions. He said, we are not concerned about the political turmoil within the government. Our priority is ensuring due process. The governor's office does not directly instruct us to release funds. There are established procedures for financial disbursement in the government and our approvals must go through the Ministry of Finance. Aside from the running grants accruing to the Deputy Governor's Office monthly, he has also demanded that the Governor's running grant and other emoluments attached to the Office of the Governor be handed to him as Acting Governor. In the last week, the Deputy Governor has summoned and threatened to of our officials. He has inquired about the governor's spending and demanded to know how funds allocated to the governor's office are disbursed. He believes he is entitled to two streams of funding, insisting that the governor's office allocation should be included as part of his role as acting governor. During the encounters with our officials, they kindly explained that even the governor's office routes its approvals through the Ministry of Finance. However, the deputy governor remains obstinate, repeatedly demanding immediate funds despite our attempts to educate him on proper financial protocols and the responsible use of public funds he persists. He has been confrontational and demanding we see this as executive recklessness. While we understand tensions may be high, we would prefer not to be involved in any reckless activities. My viewers, I thought was your reaction to this. You see how people behave. Um, the government is traveling and it transmitted power to you to take over the leadership before he comes back he's not dead he's still alive and uh, you are there you know uh you know doing undo uh you know trying to know how the, the governor you know having access to funds and uh, how these funds are being disbursed in fact uh, politics is so deadly and so dangerous all right uh, let's look at the comment section to see what we have in the comment section or stay tuned please as we look into the comments uh, box okay have some reactions here Ulutayo arrow here says um, that's how you people claim that lucky a year that Tiwa has been beaten and brutalized his heart throb, which is false, unfunded. You have started again. When that one did not work, you brought in this spurious allegation. Even the most foolish fool, realizing that he is occupying that office in an acting capacity, will never go to such length. You guys should stop. You guys should sh just stop taking on those state to the boilers. Okay. 
La Sisi Oye Gade replies uh, Olutayo saying, How can you say it is false when the woman in question has even, co has even come out openly to accuse her husband of his unruly, barbaric, and malistic and ugly behaviors? Your comment here really shows that you are not current with what is going in this man family right now. The wife has relocated to London. Okay. And according to Lassisi Oyegadi. See, he's saying that uh, even the wife of the deputy governor has accused, you know, or yes, has accused the governor and uh, also has been confrontational with the governor and uh, they are not in good terms. All right, uh, let's uh, move forward, please. Last again says, uh, how can you say it is false when the wife in question has, okay, we've taken this before. We've taken this before. Let's continue, please. Then uh, Bode Ajayi uh, replied to uh, Lassisi saying, uh, busybody Falana, okay, uh, speaking Yoruba there. Then uh, go, move, going forward, it says, uh, you are all struggling for your selfish interests. Uh, plus, to through here, to Lassisi says, uh, you better keep short with, okay, let's continue, please. Uh, Will it take a meaningful ways? Diary or more to show says uh, all these are fallacies. They just want to create an enmity between them. Deputy Governor will not do that. According to law, will not die but live. Anybody wishes him dead shall die before him. Skyway here says uh, Nigeria is filled with criminals. Nigeria is filled with criminals. Amaku Valentine here says uh, this man must be a greedy and selfish man. In his evil mind now, he will be praying for the governor to die, but it will not work for him. God's eye here says uh, whatever will be, will be when it's time for the liberation of the people who have survived the onslaught of bad governance under two different regimes. For almost 15 years, no Jupiter will in inhibit the rule coaster as the as it ascendingly gathers momentum. A year that Tiwa is all out for the rescue and the mission is bound to be accomplished. In any case, Akredolo would surely live by the grace of God, though in the meantime, the acting governor would have sufficient time to put things right. Enough of government of mother and son in Ondo uh, state. MMS uh, here says that I reserved my comments until Aketi himself speaks. Get well quick. Fawo 77 says that succession war had intensified in Ondo, it started some time ago, though when the news of Aketi's illness first broke. And this all can take for now. Thanks and God bless. Ensure you subscribe to our channel, share this report, and bye for now. Please, thanks so much for listening. Okay, bye for now. Please, okay.